So what do you think? Do they look like they're getting more comfortable? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's 6.35 a.m. and I woke up a little while ago and I looked at the security camera footage and the cats outside, um, the babies, are looking for food. They're trying to get into the automatic feeder the way that the raccoons try to get into it. So I just put a plate of food out. It's some of the homemade raw food I made for them and some dry food. And this little one, Ziggy, um, was near the driveway on the other side of the patio and it saw me put the food down and I came inside the minute I came inside it went running across the patio to get to the food and I was like oh that's interesting it's like the first time I've seen that so it's obviously very hungry now they did eat dinner last night um, but as the days are getting shorter their dinner is getting earlier and earlier every day so it's been it's been quite a while since they've had dinner, almost 12 hours, and um, the nights are getting cooler, so they're burning more calories in the cooler weather. I hope this one is okay and not dealing with mouth issues, because it keeps eating and then jumping away from the food. Unless there are bugs out there. There's usually a bunch of bugs out there. Now the food might still be kind of cold also because it was completely frozen um, about seven or eight hours ago and it does take a long time look at this look at this so Boo is right below me hello 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 Looking at Boo. Hello! What I might do, I might grab a can of Friskies and put that out because the Friskies is room temperature and uh, the cats might like it better. Here's Stella. Stella woke me up also. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that last night I found out that the fox that came around has mange and it has it pretty bad because I was looking at the security camera footage and I was like, this fox has no fur in its tail. Its tail almost looks like the tail of a possum. And so I started researching that and then I found out that that's an issue when a fox has mange. And I also noticed that the fox looked like um, it had like a bunch of crustiness around its face, like around its head. I thought maybe because the fox was out in the rain, but then I realized that was another symptom of mange also. So the poor fox is sick, and the fact that it's coming around um, my yard looking for food is like another symptom of a fox with mange. Um, I looked into it, and people say that you can give the fox ivermectin. You can actually inject it into hard-boiled eggs, and the foxes will eat it. Um, the cats won't eat it but foxes will eat that and over time it helps to heal them. If they're too far gone um, and if their internal organs are starting to fail then you really can't do anything but if they're not that far gone then if they eat the ivermectin then it could help them recover. So I'm gonna look into that today. They say you could buy it on Amazon and I pretty sure I've seen it being sold at Tractor Supply because it is uh, for livestock, but it is supposed to be very helpful um, with regards to mange and foxes. So I'm gonna look into that today. It's on my list of things to do. Like I need another thing to do or another sick animal to deal with, but um, yeah. They also say you could inject it into hot dogs and the foxes will eat those, but cats will eat those too. So I'm trying to find something that I could put it in that cats won't eat. They also say foxes have a sweet tooth, so you could inject it into a cookie or something and they'll eat it. So the issue is that whatever foxes eat, raccoons are also gonna eat, potentially also possums and skunks. So I don't know, like I couldn't just put it out and wait for the fox to come by because I haven't seen a fox in my yard in several weeks. Um, but if the fox does return and if it does become a nightly visitor, then that's when I would put it out. I'd probably just 
get it to have and then if the fox returns put it out it's 6 45 and there's now two plates of food out so the plate on the right has a can of friskies and the plate on the left has homemade raw food with some crunchies on top and we'll see if the cats come back we have to remember the cats could be getting food somewhere else uh, or they could be out hunting right now so um, this is just kind of like a backup food for them and um, yes yeah, so they have plenty of food and this is how the feeder and the table survived the night so the table's looking a little bit a little bit warped I gotta see what's going on with that um, maybe because the patio is not exactly flat or it could be because the raccoons really tried to attack the feeder last night so they were trying to get in through the bowl and they were on top so they tried uh, at the same time there's one trying to get in the bowl and there's one on top trying to move those pavers so far it looks like that uh, setup um, is good and is able to keep them out of the food they are still sticking their paws up trying to get you know to the food in the machine but they're not having any luck so uh, that's good because it was pretty much an unending supply of raccoons the previous night I, I don't need like 20 or 30 raccoons every night coming in thinking they're gonna just take over the patio and eat all the food. It is 5 p.m. and there is the paper bowl that I put a hard-boiled egg in um, several hours ago. So I took a ride up to Tractor Supply to buy some medicine for the fox with mange. And um, it's like a 40-minute ride to get there. And I looked around, went to Aldi next door, um, then drove back, so all totaled more than two hours and I just got back and I said let me check to see if the hard-boiled egg is in the bowl and it's not in the bowl and I don't know where it is I don't see any sign of it anywhere I don't see um, like bits of half-eaten egg anywhere I would assume if the cats were going to eat it there would be some kind of um, debris from it. Usually a cat's not going to swallow a hard-boiled egg whole. I've never heard of a cat doing that. Um, so I don't know what happened to the egg. I have no idea. I looked at the security camera footage and in one video the egg is still in the bowl. In the next video cats are walking around there's no egg in the bowl. So I don't know if another animal showed up and ate it or another animal showed up and took it away somewhere or I don't know. I have no idea where it is. Meanwhile, as I'm filming the bowl, this is what Ziggy's doing, just hanging out on the grass. And she was kind of checking me out as I was walking around unloading the car. She was just hanging out near the feeding table. So she's looking for some food and look at what's going on back there. So there were two or three other cats back there in the back corner. I don't know if this is Richard or Ringo. It's hard to tell from the front sometimes. They look really, really similar. Um, so I'm going to go inside and put some food out for the cats. I'm going to um, cut up some raw chicken wings. That looks like Ringo. I'm going to cut up some raw chicken wings. Or maybe it's the other tabby with um, like the ring design on the side of the fur. Like a classic tabby. Um, what I was saying was I'm going to go give them some food, also cut up some chicken wings, some raw chicken wings, see if they like that. Hey Ziggy, where's the egg at? Where's the egg at? Where's the egg at? Do you see the egg anywhere? Where'd you guys put it? Did you eat it? Did you eat the egg? Did you eat the egg, Ziggy? Did you eat the egg, Ziggy? Ziggy, did you eat the egg? I'm trying to get a good look at her face to see if she has any signs of mange the way that the fox did. Oh look, there's Richard. See him there? Look. He's over here, right here. That's little Richard. And there's Ziggy. They're just checking me out. I'm pretty close to them. I'm probably five or six feet away. This is like the closest that I've been with the camera. And then who's that in the back? I don't know who that, that's the new one. That's the new one in the back. What's his name? Or her name? Is it a girl? Maybe his name is Max. Max could be like for a girl or a boy, right? Is that Max? Ziggy? Richard? They're blinking at me. 
they look itchy because there's like there's a bunch of flies the little gnats hello hello okay I'm gonna give you guys some food okay I'm gonna give you guys some food okay can I get closer no it's 5 10 p.m. I just put plates of food together and look at what's going on here right in the middle of the patio Ziggy's all stretched out and Boo's looking Boo's below me right now here's Boo He's like, what's going on? The inside cats want dinner also. And there's Richard, he moved over on the patio also. He's behind that piece of wood. So what do you think? Do they look like they're getting more comfortable? I did some more research today with regards to getting them spayed and neutered. I reached out to some local people that I know to find out some information. Unfortunately, what they suggested is no longer a possibility, so I had to update them. It seems that they haven't been um, TNRing or spaying and neutering in a little while. And um, so the services that they used are no longer options. So as I mentioned yesterday, it should not be this difficult and time consuming just to find a vet or a service that will help to spay and neuter feral cats. So here's Ziggy, Goldie, and Little Richard. They're watching me. And I just put two platters of food down under the table. So on the right, um, we have some wholehearted uh, beef pate. The inside cats don't like it. Um, and there's a chicken wing in the middle, and then there's dry food around the edges. And on the left is the homemade raw food that I made for the cats outside with some dry food and also a chicken wing in the middle and we'll see what they eat I don't know if they're gonna eat the wings they might they might not but look how close I am right now I'm probably only three feet away I'm crouched down to get a good view oh look at this there's another one that just showed up so they're going straight for the homemade raw food that's what they're licking up So there's three here. Ringo and his twin. I have to find a name for the other one. Okay guys, I'm gonna go in. So I believe Ringo is the one sitting next to Goldie. And I don't know who the other one is yet. I think it's a girl. And she has more um, like brown fur along with the gray and the black. Whereas he is mostly just gray and black. And she's like brown, gray and black. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'll go in so you guys can eat, okay? See, they're afraid of me. I just came inside and now they're all eating. I still wanna know what happened with that hard boiled egg. So I did a little bit more research on how to get medicine into the fox and they say not to put bait out like the first night. Well, first of all, I don't even know if the fox is going to come back tonight because it doesn't come by every night or at least it hasn't. Um, so they say, you know, wait a few days until you know a routine that is established, until you recognize a routine that's established as far as the fox eating food at certain times. And... Um, and then putting, oh, someone took the chicken wing. Uh, the tortie, I don't know if that's Goldie. Oh yeah, Goldie. Goldie took the chicken wing. She took it. And Ziggy, I'm thinking maybe Ziggy has some kind of mouth problem because she'll like start eating and then she'll like back away as if like maybe it's hurting her. Okay, so the three under the table are eating. I don't know where, I don't know where Ringo took the, uh, I mean, I don't know where Goldie took the, the chicken wing to. 
So the three under the table are all gathered around the homemade food. It looks like they, they ate that first. Maybe now they're working on some of the crunchies on that plate. And the chicken wing is still on that plate. And I don't know where Goldie went. She just kind of left. I don't know if that name's going to stick to her or not. I hope Ziggy can eat and is not having problems with her mouth. It could just be an issue with, like, the bees or the bugs that are flying around. See, like, she didn't even touch the food, but there's, there's, like, bees flying around it. You okay? You okay? Want separate food? I don't remember her having so much light fur on her face. That's why I'm wondering if she has a form of mange also. Hopefully not. It could just be a bunch of bugs that have been bothering her. We'll have to see. It's 5.35 p.m. I just looked out the window and Ziggy was all stretched out on the patio, like all stretched out. What is she playing with her foot? She seems to be very happy. Look at that. So it looks like she has light fur on her underbelly. There goes the one with the white shoes. I don't know if this is Clyde or Chuck or Charlie. I haven't figured out his name yet. Oh my gosh, I hope she's not in heat. That's what I just thought. Oh my gosh. Usually they will, you know, go into a certain position with their butt in the air, tail to the side kind of thing. So they ate all the homemade raw food on the plate on the left and they left the uh, the canned food on the right. I'm going to put more homemade food on the, the platter on the left. I just put more homemade food down and there's like, I don't know if they're bees or wasps or what, but they're just like flying all over and it's horrible. I don't know how these cats are dealing with it. You, I don't know, can you see them here? And it looks like someone else is now enjoying a chicken wing. I think that's Ringo. Which is good. Maybe I'll put two more chicken wings out. I think these are the wings from Costco. They're already cut up. I thought I was going to have to cut each wing into smaller pieces, but... These are already the ones that are cut up. They're party wings. So I'm standing here like a few feet away from this table and the cats are coming up to it to eat. He just ran away with his chicken wing. He's like, no one's taking my chicken wing. It's 5.45. I put two more pieces of chicken wings out there. Um, the cats got scared when I did that and they kind of ran off. And I'm wondering if the cat with the socks, I wonder if his name is Jimmy. Because I was thinking like, oh, gym socks, gym shoes, sneakers. So his name might be Jimmy. I got to see how that fits with him. It's 7 p.m. And it looks like the cats have finished all the food that I put out on the two platters. I filled them multiple times, so... I think what I'm going to do is put a little more dry food out, and then that's it. 
It's starting to get dark already. Maybe I'll put out one more of the hard boiled eggs this time without taking the shell off just to see what happens. I have this adorable little gnome bird feeder. Look how cute he is. I put him out today and I put some bird seed in his little bowl there and there were no birds. I don't know what happened to all the birds. Maybe because the cats have been coming around. Now the birds are staying away. Um, I don't know. Maybe they flew south for the winter. I don't know. It's really weird, especially with bird seed out. So, um, and I put it out early in the day too. So, hopefully the raccoons are not going to destroy this gnome. Um, the last gnome that I had, um, not the one that people call Hank, but the one after that, um, he was broken by some form of wildlife. I'm assuming the raccoons, they kind of broke him into pieces. So we'll see what happens to this little guy. It's about 7.40 p.m. I was in the living room with the cats and we just heard what sounded like, like an animal scream. We don't know. Um, I don't know if it was a cat, a raccoon. I mean, it could have been a person. I mean, like some kids screaming but it sounded like an animal scream. Like, you know, when some cats get in a fight or something, it wasn't a, uh, like a long thing. It was just um, kind of quick, but all the cats got freaked out when they heard it. And I figured, let me come out. So there's two cats back here. Um, it did not sound like it was coming from the patio. It sounded like it was coming from either uh, the next yard or maybe from the woods. Like, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on. Today I did see some of the kittens in the next yard. On the other side of this fence is my neighbor's yard and their house is still under renovation and the yard is just full of debris. Um, not as bad as it was, they did clear some of it up, but there's a lot of debris in their yard. And I saw some of the kittens walking around in the yard. So I, I hope they're careful when they're over there. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. 7.52 p.m. and I'm being visited by this cat. This is not one of the kittens. This is a larger tabby. Looks very well fed. And it's just been sitting on the patio staring at the back door. So I'm going to put some food out for it. And I'm going to give it a separate little plate. Maybe this is the cat that got into a fight with the other kittens. You know, they do gang up on outsiders. Maybe this cat was trying to eat some of the food and they were not happy. I don't know. So I'm going to go give it some food. And look who's here. Look who's relaxing on the patio. It's Ziggy. Hello, Ziggy. How are you? And there's a few others eating food. I just put some more crunchies out for them also. Here you go. And some food. Here. I just put the plate of food on the patio, maybe like three feet away from the water bowl. And the cat kind of ran around the side to the other part of the yard. I don't know if it'll come back, maybe if I go inside. And I put another hard boiled egg in the bowl underneath the feeding table. We'll see what happens. I also have to check the security camera because the one that was pointed at it, um, the battery died. I swapped it out with another one, so I have to make sure that one's working. So the cat came back to eat, and that's why I put the plate a few feet away from the water bowl because I figured the kittens would come to the water bowl. I don't know if they're related to this cat. This cat could be their mom. It's really hard to keep track of the uh, other cats. Like I've figured out the six kittens, or the seven kittens actually, um, but the other tabbies that I've been visiting, it's it's hard to keep track of them.
Like, obviously, all the cats that live outside kind of know each other. See, she just got called back, or he. They're like, don't go over there. And Boo's looking out the window right now also. So I cannot spend my entire night um, looking out the window at what the cats are doing. Um, I have to get other things done, so. I have cameras on outside. And I'll check in on them later. Hopefully it will be a quiet, uneventful night. They have been enjoying going on the patio furniture, I will say that. I've caught them sleeping on the patio chairs, or at least relaxing on the patio chairs. I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but there's a skunk eating the food. Yeah, it's eating the food on the platter. It's probably too dark to see this right now, but Ziggy is all sprawled out on the patio like she was before, like she's totally stretching out. There's multiple cats spread all across the patio right now. That's crazy. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you. Bye.